Epson 8550 Paper Jam Issue Resolved. If you have any problems with the 855 saying that it's jamming paper and it's not reading your film, even if you're putting tape behind your film, I'm gonna show you how to fix that problem. This is an example of the paper jam error. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to fix this problem. First thing you need to do is get your print head to move. So you wanna to go to maintenance, then you want to go to print head cleaning, and then you wanna push start. As soon as your print head start to move, you wanna unplug your machine. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get a screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver. You're gonna remove these two screws. I already removed one, so you're gonna remove the other one. Now you're gonna remove the plastic plate. Slide your print head over. Next, you're going to remove the plastic film. You're going to remove these two screws. Make sure you get a screwdriver that has a magnet on it. Works better. Put your screws to the side. Next, you're going to lift and fold back. If you want to, you can put something there to hold that down for you. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to remove your dampers. So you have three, four, five, six screws to remove. So let's start removing the screws. And to fix this problem, you don't have to remove the sides or anything like this. None of this, it's just this right here. All right, once you remove all the screws, next you're gonna take this piece here and you're gonna push it back. Push it back. Take your screwdriver and push it back. Push back all of them. Next. If you have ink in it already, you wanna get you a paper towel. And then you wanna start lifting your ink. This is why I said it's good to get a paper towel. Now, you can put that part to the side. And next, here's one of the problems right here. Now I need to get another piece of paper towel. Now you may have a little ink flooded inside, so you're gonna take the paper towel and you're gonna clean that ink out.
Make sure you clean it good. Okay, just a little bit more. Okay. Next thing you're gonna do, you have to remove four screws. You have one screw in each corner. When you remove the screws, do not press down too hard on your print head. Okay, set the screws to the side. Next thing we have to do is we have to grab the print head and lift straight up. Once you lift it straight up, turn it to the right and just pull the cord. Be gentle with it. Some more paper towel. I'm gonna clean the bottom of the print head. You don't need to use any solution. Just paper towel. Next, I want you to take the wire, take the paper towel, and just give it a gentle wipe. Okay, set that to the side. Put something on top of it to hold it down out your way. Now, you're gonna go down to this PE sensor. Let me get my light. This is your PE sensor. Now it's held down by one screw. You're gonna remove that screw, but be careful. Be gentle. Once you remove that screw, you're gonna reach down and you're gonna lift this plastic, well, metal piece out. I'm gonna take your napkin, paper towel, and you're gonna clean that off. Now set that to the side. Take the wire and lift the PE sensor out. Now you're gonna wipe your PE sensor good with your napkin. Then you want to pull it from the wire. Next, you have to take this wire and wipe it.
Okay. Take your napkin and your screwdriver. Reach down and give it a little clean in the holding spot of the PE sensor. Okay. Now let's check the sensor, make sure we cleaned it off good. Let's give it a little clean again. Wipe it down real good. Wipe down this copper part. Again, all you need is a paper towel. Take the paper towel, wipe in the groove just a little bit. Check the other side. Give it a little wipe. Be gentle, don't break it. Okay. Now, let's put it back together. Put the wipe back in first. Get your metal rod. You want to sit that down in there first. Adjust it down to sit in the hole. Now we're going to put the PE sensor right on top of it. screw back that's why I say it's good to have a screwdriver with a magnet on it Okay. Now, let's put the wire back for the print head. The blue part should be facing the top of the print head. So, let's get that back in now. Maybe a little tricky, but once you get this, it should fall right back in place. Okay, make sure you push it in tight. Now, slide print head down, print head down, back into place. Now, we're gonna put the four screws back in. Next, we're going to put the print heads, the dampers, back into the print head. All right, once you get them back on, these back clamps, you have to take them and you have to slide them forward to lock the dampers down in place. Push the damper down, 
And you have to wiggle the clamps for it. Plus, once you wiggle it in place, go ahead and lock that one down. And now go ahead and do another one. Push it forward, lock it down. Hold the damper down. Take the clamp, slide it into place. And you have to wiggle it until you get it pushed forward like that. Then you take your screw, lock it down. And you do it for all of them. Keep the pressure down on the damper and wiggle it into place okay Have one more, slide it forward, put your screw in. Okay, next we're gonna get this out of the way, I'm gonna fold it back, and this part should drop right into place. Yep. Okay, don't forget to put your two screws back. Tighten it down, but not too tight. You don't want to break the plastic. Okay, once you have that down, now you have to slide the the hoses back into place. Okay. Once we get that, we're gonna take the plastic and you have to put it back on. These two clamps have to go under here. So what you're gonna do, grab the plastic from the front, hold it right here in the back and you're just gonna pull and push. Then slide it back under. Once it's back under, you pull it. Now you take the front part, slide it back under. Okay. Now get you a sharp tool. Or if you have nails, just take this piece and slide it back under here. Make sure you don't poke a hole in your holes. Okay, there we go. Now, slide your print head over. Make sure you don't hear anything. We're gonna take the plastic clamp and we're gonna put it back on. And we're going to put the two screws back in. Now 
Now you're gonna get a print here, just a little test with your hand. You're gonna slide it over, make sure it's not scrubbing anything. Slide it back to the right. Okay, we're good. Now let's plug it back in. Cut the power on. Once you're done putting everything back together, you're gonna go ahead and press dismiss. <coughs> you're gonna press back. Uh, next, we're gonna do a, a power head cleaning. Now, for the ink waste tank, it's good when you're doing these power head cleaners if you have an ink chip resetter. I get this ink chip reseller from off of Amazon and it works. And that 100% works. Now, uh, what you're gonna do now, you're gonna go to maintenance. Then you're gonna do a power cleaner. You're gonna hit okay. And it says it's not enough ink remaining to perform this. You're gonna hit okay, proceed. Proceed. You want to select all your colors. Uh, select the colors you would like to fill. You're going to hit proceed. Okay. Okay. Now, for the power cleaning, you're going to go up. You're going to hit confirm. Okay. Then you're going to confirm again. And you're going to confirm one more time. Next, you have to hold the OK button for five seconds. Now, the reason we're doing this before we even try to print, we're going to go ahead and refill all of the dampers. So we're going to go ahead and let this do the print head cleaning. And then we'll try to print when we're done. Now, the power head is clean, finished cleaning. <clears throat> Some people may have to do two, pack, two power cleaners. So if you have to do it again, you just go ahead and run it one more time. But I'm not gonna run it right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a test print to see if my paper jam error is gone. There it is, paper jam issue resolved. Now you can get back to your prints and making money. <laughs>